All right, in the last video, what we did is we made this structure text timer and we did a standard reset. We did a, a simple way to reset it and showed that example. We're going to show in this video again uh, how a different way to, to actually reset a timer, a structure text timer in this way would be like an if then else statement. Now, again, if you haven't seen the last video, please go back and watch that video and you'll get a lot more uh, you know, in tune with what we're actually going and doing and transferring to. So please stay tuned to this channel uh, because again, we're, we're releasing stuff all the time. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight to this and let's make a new uh, routine here. We're gonna call this, uh, first one we call it standard reset. We'll just say if uh, then reset. So we're going to build that. We'll say, um, and we'll call this uh, timer. So let's let's rename them timer. If then else reset, right? So then we have those in here. Have that in there, and we'll call that. So now we have. We'll, we'll just simply throw this in here. Now you know I like to start off with come in here and put getting in edit mode, dropping down a few lines. We're gonna call this the if then else reset for a structure structured text timer. Real simple, good uh, illustration of you know proper documentation. I mean that's exactly what you do two forward slashes and then you come in and put down whatever you want. Um, now, as far as, you know, writing down and keeping, keeping inside of your head where you're at as a programmer or even as a person troubleshooting, add tech notes to it. Two, two forward slashes, no harm done, no foul. You can easily do that, right? So uh, again, we're gonna call our instruction, which is a T-O-R-N, right? And then we're gonna actually make a new one. <clears throat> so then we're gonna make a new instruction let's go in here make a new tag and this tag was going to be let's just call this sample timer <clears throat> that way it it kind of separates the other two you know the other one we did and again what we're going to do we're going to come down here and do fbd timer so and why are we doing that we're, we're actually coming out that's the type of timer you want to use in this so we're calling it in this routine all right, or in this this line here, not routine, but line. We're calling it this line. We're going to close the statement. So now we have our timer. We have our timer established. Um, I still like to come in here and grab this. So Control C, um, and then come in here and do that. Now again, um, this is going to be our preset. So the pre, and then come down here, and we're going to have this one. Let's just put this one at five seconds. And then, so that's a hard statement, right? So that's just a hard statement, just saying, okay, well, all right, so now we have our timer set, and now we have our preset set to five seconds, all right? Remember, control logics is, you know, a thousandths to a second. So when it comes down to it, we have uh, basically that is set for uh, five seconds right now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do if then, so if, and we're gonna grab our timer here. We're gonna paste that in here. We're gonna say done. Our actually, let's do this. Let's say if not, <clears throat> timer done. So I'm gonna show you how this is done. Then what we wanna do is we wanna grab this next, uh, actually let's paste again. And we're gonna say dot. And then we're going to say enable timer enable one, right? Else dot, and then timer enable zero. It's really, really, really a simple statement. And then end if. So close your statement. So in each one of these lines, we have basically, we've opened here, right? And we've said, okay, well, if not, if the timer is not done, 
then we want to can turn it on. We want to have it on. This one right here needs to be a zero. Else the, the timer enable should be a zero. <clears throat> okay, so let's actually assemble that. Come in here, put all that in there. Now we're gonna, uh, it's not gonna be running right now because of the simple fact that I'll show you. It's not running. None of this is actually populated, right? We hit the watch window up here for the, the live samples. But we don't have a JSR in here, right? So we're going to throw our JSR. Simple. No harm done. And then we're going to put in this right here. And then we're going to assemble that. And then we're going to come back to our structured text. So now uh, we can easily come in here and see these. So now let's go to watch because, again, we talked about in the last video that you can't see the stuff real time. Right, you can't see it real time unless you're actually in watch or you have a trend running. Right, so that's why we made a trend in the last video to quickly show that. But you easily see right here that the ACC, which is the accumulated value of this timer, this is actually the this is the wrong timer. This is standard timer. We want the we want the sample timer. So let's go into this one. So I had the wrong one pulled up. So forgive me on that. That's the reason I set it at different times so I could see it in the video so that you could see it. All right. So either either way, this is a, another way to reset it, right? Because I'm saying if this so if, if this helps out, right? I could actually comment all this stuff out, and this ACC would not be working right now, right? Because all I'm doing up, up here is calling the actual uh, timer to be run right and I'm, I'm indicating a preset for it to run you know five five seconds right really 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 simple and then down here I'm, I'm making a statement I'm saying if the timer is not done then I want to make sure that I have the timer on if it is not if it's actually done then I want to actually turn it off right it's the same thing we did in the last video if you remember same thing we did in the last video. If you haven't seen that one, go back and watch that video. It's one video before this one. But uh, again, that's really, and it breaks down it simple ways to do this stuff, right? So I'm, what I'm trying to do here is just illustrate the, the simple facts of a couple different ways to reset timers and get your brain thinking about different ways to understand. Um, and use, using the tools up here, right? This is extremely, extremely valuable. Like the way that structure text is done, um, you know, because this right here, and then we could come in here still and comment this stuff out and say, okay, well, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be if um, the timer is not done, then allow the timer, timer to run very simple right very 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 simple and that's just another way to comment it out and have it functional right so we'll have that in there we'll come in and drop this watch I should have had that uh, I actually want to fix that don't like to, I like to have everything you know properly done you know not not spelled wrong or anything like that and I do tend to do that quite a bit so um, when it comes down to it that's another way to actually reset a structure text timer using an if then else statement and again this is very pra this is a very simple uh, illustration this is you know for general use and again just a general training for you to understand how structured texts work how work how it works and how if then else works and stuff like that so just kind of give you a, a good solid idea on another way to understand just to, how to reset a timer if you had to if you wanted to if you needed that extra way to do it so Without further ado, we'll see you guys on the next video.